But uh, being, well, uh, reading sci-fi and fantasy stuff, it seems maybe a little bit contradictory to this album. So. Mm, it's not contradictory the way I see how I spend my life. I mean, I read and I listen stuff to entertain myself. And it can be about basically anything. If it's, if it's a story based on reality or if it's totally fictional, I enjoy both. And same thing with the music. I mean, and these things there, how they are written, they actually pretty much show how miraculous our real existence here is. I mean, you see this hand and everything in it, all the atoms, the heavier atoms, carbon, iron in the blood, all that, was actually born in the hearts of stars like billions of years ago. But that huge nuclear construct, constricting like lighter atoms into heavier ones, and they're all here. And my will, my personality, is the one that is moving them. Still, I'm just borrowing them. But it's goddamn weird. It is when you put it like that. Mm. <laughs> um, what, what, what songs on the album, or maybe um, sp a specific line, really resonated with you? Hmm. Now I'd have to think. Because there's a lot of good stuff on the album. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and it could be that it's as lyrically, if we go into the lyrics, it's the whole Elan. I kind of really like the, they are the underlying idea of, again, living your life to the full. And, and what how, is how it's presented there in, in, in its, all its little details, like little, little metaphors and all that, fleeting skies, blah, 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 and all that. I, I don't really want to go into certain lines because I'd rather prefer people to hear it by themselves and see what they think. And uh, living life to the fullest, um, mm. what is that for you? Pretty much what I'm doing. <laughs> I, I, have, I know that there are a lot of people who don't have this luxury and this privilege of actually making their living out of something that was a dream for a teenage kid and then became reality and also making your living out of it so that you can put the bread on the table for your kids and all that. It's a, it's a, it's a real privilege to be able to reach that kind of a position. And that is basically what it means to me. Okay. Um, um, in comparison maybe to Imaginarium and what I've just heard and maybe it's just the first impression, but I got the idea that your vocals are uh, a little bit more in the background. Uh, yeah, that is that is that is what you get on the surface. I'm, I don't have that much lead vocals mm. to do on this exactly. album. But if we go into a live situation, there's probably even more because we did a hell of a lot of background work with the vocals, me and Troy, um, me especially. So, uh, but again, it's a bit, it's a situation, or at least how I see the things that the songs and how they go, we made the best choices for them. Also with the vocal work, who does what and all that. And if you keep your attitude so that serve the band and its songs first, you end up serving the whole group and yourself the best possible way. It's, a, it's not an ego thing for me. It's not like, a, eh, there's not enough vocals for me to people to hear. They, they've been hearing it and will hear some of it on this album as well. But it wasn't uh, um, uh, on purpose, um, uh, uh, a conscious decision, I mean, I guess. No, I mean, it was all because of how we rehearsed the songs and what we found out about them and all that. And these are the be best options for us. Okay, um, let's see. Well, of course, Floor isn't new because she's been there two and a half or three years by now. Mm. But. I guess in the whole creative process, she was, yeah. I, I guess, kind of new. Yeah, but how did how did she fit it in? To totally good, very good, perfectly, one might say even. Uh, 
Well, yeah, when we got together for the, for the rehearsals, she's actually the first time, first vocalist to come in since day one and start doing her stuff and all that. So it gave us at the rehearsal perhaps a, perhaps a more holistic attitude and a view of the songs. You hear the structures, you start going through them. At the same time, you hear vocals and the lyrics and all that, and you can go, start to go through them and how they, what kind of a punch they have to, or what kind of a easier thing they create in some places. And, live and play according to those dynamics as well and then I could also start working on all kinds of different harmony parts for those songs and already in the rehearsals and quite a lot of it got nailed down in the studio recordings that way as well uh, so yeah that was a that was a really good thing and but did she also um, kind of bring a, a new influence or, or yeah sure energy or yeah it was, because it's really good thing to be able to rehearse with, with the whole group. You get that group vibe going, and and everybody. It, but the, well, a lot of people have this vision about Thomas that he's uh, like the overall dictator on top of this pyramid. But he's really open-minded about the rehearsal situation and arrangements and all that, which we do with the band, so that everybody finds the most comfortable and good an expressive way of playing their stuff throughout the songs. And same same happens with the singing. So, yeah, we had quite a lot of ideas flying around all the time that we were doing the rehearsing. And it could come from anybody if, if they wanted to concentrate that this angle isn't working as well as it should. What can we try about it? And anybody's idea was welcome. We tried out a lot of things and ended up with the things that we liked most. And well, Flor is um, a very dynamic singer, and did, mm. uh, I guess you have some parts where you sing together. Did, did yeah, that quite a lot of them. Challenge you in a way, or I don't know if challenge, but of course, it, yeah. Well, you could say challenge in order to you know find the right way of like doing things together and all that. You always have to. I've been working with different vocalists, of course, as well. So you find out what, what is their personal, like, you know, little, you know, mannerisms and timings and all that, and try to fit yourself into them when you're doing, like, background vocals and all that. But otherwise, it was really a smooth process because, well, we did quite a lot of songs recorded them that way, that both of us were there in the vocal studio. And she would do a lead line to something, and I would come up with an idea, there's this nice harmony, and. If it's a lower, I'll go in and, and do it. And, and, and then she would comment from the other side to talk back how these things they work together and all that. And we were switching back and forth until we would like have a finished song and then move on into the next one, which was really a, really a good way to work on those. You could hear songs getting ready with all these gradual steps and keep the you know wheels rolling and, and the attitude going and all that. that yeah. So I, I think we both kind of managed to give ourselves, give ourselves like certain boosts at certain times and all that. Okay. Um, well, you've everybody has described it as a kind of a more band approach album. Sure, it is. Yeah. But well, um, Yuka um, had to uh, stop, of course, during the process. Yeah, that's true. Um, that, uh, that was the only like you know, bad thing to happen during this, during this album recording and rehearsals. But Jukka himself, he had come to the terms of his illness, I guess, earlier and better. Well, he has to live with it. He had come into terms with it earlier and better than we could. And when he said that, okay, this is it, I can see that I'm not able to do this. We just had to kind of also adjust our thinking to it, that okay, uh, because he's certain we cannot really talk him over it. And then just had to bring Kaitsu in, and you had called Kaitsu already earlier himself, that if, he, if his illness gets bad enough, would Kaitsu be able to step in? He was, he came in, and then we go on and start rehearsing again, and, and quite fast, we just found out, okay, these songs, they're going to be working this way as well. So might even have been strengthening our attitude and conviction that this album is going to get done no matter what. But in what ways did you, well, I guess, miss him or his input or both? Yeah, he's been an essential part of the band ever since from the beginning. He's helped to build this success and all that with his own hands. So 
it feels bad that he had to do this thing and he's genuinely fond of doing shows and and the albums and all that so yeah i feel for him uh, the music and the band and all that we do is is really a big part of my like you know spiritual backbone as well so it must be it must have been a really a hell of a process for him to go through also but we didn't totally let him go he's still taking care of the band's business side which is weird because if i had to deal with clauses and contracts and all that i would lose sleep and i would lose my sanity but for him it seems to be that he he, he's got a, a good grip on these things, so he gets satisfaction out of doing these things and it doesn't make him lose his sleep. So, yeah, if we can provide him a place where he can still stay in the company and get his income from this thing he helped to build, then it's only just fair and square. Okay. Mm. Uh, well, you've been with Nightwish, I don't know how, for many albums, but for years? Mm, for some years, <laughs> yeah, from, from, two, from the end of 2001. My first was Century Child. Ah. Um, and to almost knows your vocals, I guess he knows your vocal, uh, yeah. your musical capabilities. I hope so. <laughs> uh, how is it still a challenge for you? How d uh, or is it? I don't know if it's him that challenges me. I think it's more myself if there's something that... I, um, if I find out that I, there's something that I'm not totally comfortable with, will I be able to get my capabilities on par in order for me to feel comfortable or will I have to arrange some things and then go back and look, I gotta do this thing this way. So I, it's more of a challenge to myself, for me. But, and what's this to, but, but um, Thomas is writing, including my own writing now and then. I, I like how we present these things, so I guess it's more of how much of an enthusiasm we can build together, not so much as a challenge to me. Okay, and was there some part on this album that you noticed like uh, that was a challenge? Hmm, let me think. No, not really. I, I didn't find them challenging in that way. I, I find, found things to be pretty comfortable with the ways that we figured out that these are the best that we can do with these, you know, elements and parts of songs and all that. And in a way, it is a you know thought process and also a, well emotional process to go through all that. Uh, but I enjoy it, so I can achieve it as a challenge. I enjoy putting my mind to the, and emotions into these things and figuring them out which is the best way. And if we do them together, I think almost everybody has it that way. Yes, but I don't mean, like, mean challenge in a, in, a, in a bad way, but more of a getting out of your comfort zone or that, those kind of things. No, not really. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pretty open-minded and versatile guy when it comes to whatever, singing, writing, playing bass or all that. So it's just a, it's more like, again, like I said, it's more like finding the, if there is a challenge, it's, the, it's a challenge of finding the best way of presenting this music with the abilities we have as persons also. Okay, thank you for your time. No problem.